Hi, good morning. Myself, I am BSR Botany Lecturer. Today, our topic is Andresium. Andresium is the male reproductive organ. Not only that one, you just observe the stock part of the flower is pedicil. Apical part of the pedicil is called thalamus. I'm giving more time. So you should remember those points. First role of the flower is uh, calyx. This is the first role of the flower is calyx. And the second role of the flower is uh, corella. This is a corella. Second role of the flower, corella. Third role of the flower is andresium. This is andresium. Third role of the flower. And this year. and the fourth role of the flower is uh, gynecium. Like that, the four roles. So, four roles are present. This is the first role, and this one is the second role, and this one is the third role, and this one is the fourth. So this the third role, andresium, each unit of andresium is called stamen. The stamen is also a modification of leaf. The stamen is microsporophyll. Male, always micro, micro, microsporophyll. This is microsporophyll. Tamen is nothing but microsporophyll. So, when you take one microsporophyll or stamen, there generally the stamen contains the filament and the anther. This is the anther. Filament and anther, two parts are present. But the stamens are two types. These stamens are two types. They are dithicus stamens and monothicus stamens. Monothicus stamens. The very simple difference: dithicus and monothicus. When take in monothicus filament. Here, dithicus filament and filament is same, but here the anther containing two anther loops. Here, the anther containing only one anther loop. That is the main difference. That is clearly the main difference. Due to the presence of two anther loops, here, number of pollen sacs one, two, three, four pollen sacs. Whereas here only two pollen sacs are present to one anther loop. This is the common stamen, dietical stamen, example, the Tura. The monothic stamen present in hibiscus. So the stamen is nothing but microsporophyll. In microsporophyll, here pollen sacs are four. Now each pollen sac is called microsporangium. Microsporangium. Microsporangium means pollen sac. Inside the microsporangium, only microspores are formed. How it will form? We will discuss later. So this is clearly the structure of the stem. Later on, we have to discuss about union of stems. How the stamens are fusing with the other parts of the flower, or the stamens fusion. Among the stamens, then some fusion is present. So the union of stamens are two types that two types of stamens uh, union is uh, 
addition and cohesion addition and cohesion union of stamens so union of stamen two types that one is addition and cohesion addition means very simple when the stamens are fused with either sepals or petals or gynoecium it means when the stamens are fused with other parts of the flower that may be sepal petal or gynoecium when they fused with the sepal that is called apisepalous that is called apisepalous it is fused with the sepals that is apisepalous when the when the stamens are fused with the petals called apipetalous it is fused with the petals apipetalous when the stamens are fused with the gynoecium that is called gynestegium gynestegium it means fused with the gynoecium whereas in some plants you know that the calyx corolla differentiation is not present then they are called perianth so when the stamens are fused with that perianth lobes that is called epipillus that is epipillus directly fused with the huh, perianth so epicephalus epipetalus gynestegium epipillus this epicephalus condition generally present in example proteaceae family members it is present in proteaceae family members epipetalus it is fused with the petals example datura is solanaceae family members so solanaceae family members datura solanaceae family members is example datura and gynestegium here the stamens are fused with the gynoecium gynestegium calotropis like the stamens are fused with the perianth epi pillars that is the example lily so this is the addition addition means the fusion of stamens with other parts of the flower it means other floral parts is called addition whereas cohesion the fusion among the stamens the fusion among the stamens is called cohesion this cohesion different types so for example when you take these of the stamens in some plants many stamens are present so when all the stamens are fused to form one bundle when the, all the stamens are fused especially the filaments are fused when all the stamens when all the filaments of the stamens are fused to form one bundle one bundle that condition is called monoadelphous monoadelphous whereas in some plants for example you take in fabaceae family members in fabaceae family members 10 stamens are present number of stamens 10 are present in the 10 9 are fused to form one bundle 1 2 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 9 stamens are 
fused with uh, one bundle and remaining one is free like that 10 stamens are present in that nine are fused to form one bundle remaining one is uh, free so like that uh, nine plus one arrangement uh, is seen in cabbage family number so two bundles can be observed hence it is called diadalophus like that when you go for polyadalophus polyadalophus it means here the stamens are fusing to form many bundles when many bundles are forms that is called polyadalophus so polyadalophus diadalophus monoadalophus this monoadalophus condition generally seen in hibiscus. Actually, in hibiscus, you know, this is the stigma, style, ovary. Here, the filaments are fused like this. Filaments are fusing to form one bundle. Actually, staminal bundle like this one. So all the stamens are fused to form one bundle. It is the staminal bundle. This is monoadalophus. Monoadalophus example, hibiscus. Hibiscus is a China rose. Diadalophus example, Fabaceae family members. Fabaceae family members means dolichas you can take. 9 plus 1 configuration. So, polyadalophus, there many bundles are formed. Filaments are fused to form many bundles that are called polyadalophus. Example, citrus. So, this is a cohesion. So, later on, small uh, information, length filament length based on the filament length we have to discuss length when you take in some plants length i am discussing small point length of the stem for example when you take in salvia salvia in salvia only two stamens are present only two stamens are present in that one stamen is very long and one stamen is short that is a salvia one is long and one is very short in salvia whereas in osimum you take in osimum four stamens are present in osimum how many stamens are present? Four stamens. In the four stamens, inner two are short, inner two stamens are short, outer two stamens are long. Outer. This condition is called didynamous. This condition is called didynamous. Whereas in some plants, tetradynamous condition is also present. Tetradynamous. It means there when you take four stamens are present, there outer two are short, inner four are long. This condition is called tetradynamous. So, like that, when you length point of view, uh, this is the uh, uh, process. Salvia, only two stamens are present, in that uh, one is short and one is uh, long. And here, in osimum, Four stamens are present, 
in the inner to our short outer to our long example asimum didynamus whereas in tetradynamus how many stamens are present six stamens are present whereas here four stamens are present two plus two arrangement here four plus two arrangement inner for our long outer to our short example brassica so this is the discussion about the ambition thank you thank you to all